Hello everyone, welcome back to the session on database management systems. Today we will be learning normalization, especially the basic normal forms. What is normalization? It is a systematic process of organizing the data in a database to minimize redundancy and dependency. It involves dividing large tables into smaller tables and defining relationship between them to increase clarity of the data structure. So, this is one of the very very important technique in schema refinement. What is the objective? One, eliminate redundant data. I do not want duplication. You have seen that when all the data are put in single table, there was so much of duplication. So, this will help us to reduce this duplication and save space and ensure consistency. Because when you have the same data repeated, whenever we are updating or making any changes, insertions or anything, that may lead to inconsistency by reducing or converting it into smaller tables, we avoid that ensure data dependencies. This organizes the data so that dependencies are logical and data integrity is maintained. So, it makes the databases easier to maintain by structuring the data. Okay. Now, what are these normal forms? When I say I am splitting up of the table, you have learned functional dependencies. Based on these functional dependencies, I can split my table into various normal forms. The normal forms are 1 nf, first normal form, second normal form 2 nf, 3 nf and a special case of 3 nf called as bcnf, voice normal form. Then there is higher normal forms like fourth normal form and fifth normal form. Remember basic advantage of normalization is the overall database organization is uh, fulfilled or otherwise the amount of unnecessary data is reduced, data integrity is maintained or enhanced, performance is uh, enhanced or otherwise I have optimized performance, security issues, everything. But the basic drawback is that may take uh, like what do we say because of too many tables in order to uh, get the data. I have to do the joining of the data every time multiple tables together that may be one of the disadvantages of forms. Now, what are these normal forms? 1 nf always says the relation should not contain any multiple values in a column that is every cell should have atomic value. This is the basic rule to have the table in 1 nf. The 2 nf says the relation should be already in 1 nf that means atomic values in each cell and all the non key attribute should be fully functionally dependent on the primary key that means there should not be any partial dependency. Third normal form says the relationship is in 3 nf provided it already satisfies 2 nf and there are no transitive dependencies. So, 3 nf. So, we have already learned these dependencies. So, that will that is where we said dependencies are useful in uh, splitting the table into various normal forms. So, bcnf is a special case of 3 nf we said. So, a table which is in 3 nf, but every functional dependencies should see to that there is a it is dependent on a super key of the table. that is on the left hand side it should be a super key. So, f these should ensure that they are super key is nothing but a combination of candidate key with some other attribute ok. It is not minimal. So, 4 nf is beyond bcnf. It should be in bcnf and it should not have multi value dependent. Then 5 nf is nothing but it is like uh, joint dependencies that is uh, it will not have any lossy joints that is lossless joint. should contain a single value that is atomicity. Look at this, here Alice has enrolled into two courses that is maths and science. 
but as per our rule atonicity is not followed here that is one cell has multiple values so what normally is done you split that into two different rows so alice maths and alice science bob english and bob maths but what has happened it has increased redundancy so one nf may increase the duplication of the data you see that see here we are showing you only two columns but there may be so many details of student and there may be so many details of course which always repeats for every course that alice has taken up or otherwise every course that a student has taken up all the student details repeat but still one nf just says that there should be single value in a set now comes the second normal form <coughs> remember normal forms is very very important for making sure that the data redundancy is reduced i split the table into smaller tables in ensuring that they uh, preserve these dependencies or otherwise they follow these rules so 2 nf says the table must be in 1 nf that means each cell should have atomic value and there should not be any partial dependency that means all the non key attributes must be fully dependent on the primary key if there is going to be a composite primary key and you know that some of the attributes depend only on a part of the primary key split that into two different tables now here we are seeing customer id store id and store location only partial attribute set is shown here we observe that store location is only dependent upon store id then in that case make sure that store id and store location is a separate table customer id and store id this customer goes to this store d1 where is that store located let's have it in separate so customer id and store id is one table and store id and store location become another table because we saw here that store location was dependent only on store id whereas customer id and store id together make up your uh, primary key okay so this is what is better we'll try to take up that previous example where you will clearly learn it again now coming to third normal third normal form says the table should be in 2 nf and it should not contain any transitive dependency that means x holds y and y uh, determine z when is they hold x determine z is also a functional dependency on r then this is called as your transitive dependency okay why should not be a candidate key or a subset of any key that is it should not be a prime attribute okay so remember look at this employee id employee name employee zip code state city and district is going to be your uh, table contents okay now i know that employee id is a candidate key okay employee id and employee name or employee id and employee zip these can all become your super keys because i said a candidate key super key is the one which is a combination of candidate key and some other non prime attributes so here if you see employee id is a candidate key so all these employee name employee zip state city these all become your non attribute now if at all you see this employee id determines employee zip code but employee zip code determines the state and city so what is this indirectly employee id determines employee city okay but employee city is dependent on your employee zip there is transitive dependency try to remove that by splitting of the tables how do i split it employee id employee name and employee zip comes into employee table and employee zip contains employee zip employee state employee city and employee district two different tables so that the transitivity dependency is removed see employee id determines employee zip but employee zip in turn determines state city district na so that you split it put it into a separate table so this is about the basic normal so let us take up another example and try to see this look at this table where we have got employee and projects details 
there are different projects employee works on different projects and he is paid a particular amount based on the charges which depends on the job class and the number of hours he has worked so here we just see that all columns contain we assume invisible okay we indivisibly we see that all hold single value because there is nothing which says that he may be having multiple values because project may be employee is working on multiple project but because i have got project number and project name i need not put them in the same uh, column i'll split them into this so i'm assuming that it is in 1nf okay Maybe i can even split up this job class and charges per hour here itself but that we are going to see look at this in the case of this your project table project name is dependent only on project number here project employee name job class is dependent only on employee number and in job class and charges per hour charges per hour it is dependent only on job class and in assignment table these two together are the composite primary key and number of hours he, uh, an employee has worked on a particular project is dependent on both these values that is